Hey guys, it's High Jinx. Um, I am showing off something I've been working on for the 280V. So this is a um, this is a combination of Open Dingux Beta plus Retro Arc plus a um, bunch of standalone em emulators. Some supported for OD beta, some are pre-beta that just happen to work. This is simple menu. So shout out to FGL82 for the simple menu work and especially the the big Cody theme that you're going to see. It's uh, based off of um, Epic Noir that Cody built for Emulation Station. And, you know, thanks to Russ at RetroGameCorps.com for providing a lot of the, the, the core information that got me to where I'm at. So I've added something like 23 different systems to this. And I've added a couple of custom things like uh, a setting section to be able to control the USB um, and a couple of missing artworks here or there. Uh, for the system sections and categories. So I'll just roll through this. So at the high level, you've got consoles, arcades, apps and games. This is one that I created here for settings, home computers, handhelds. And as we go inside, so when you click off of that main screen, you dive straight into like the ROMs folder here. But there's actually a category above it, and you just get there by clicking L1, L2, or um, R1, L1. So like back and forth. But we scroll through. See, we've got quite a few systems here. This is a 512 gig card underneath. So I I don't know. It's maybe 15,000 ROMs in this thing. Um, one of the one of the coolest is the PlayStation collection here. It's it's huge. Got all the artworks. Um, just launch a game here. So if you want to get out, so it's power and select, takes you back to simple menu. Um, Neo Geo, this is working good. This is using um, a specific RetroArt core um, for Neo Geo. And PC Engine, Atari 2600. Some of these Ataris I'm still working on the um, underlying BIOS, getting everything situated, trying to find the right emulator. Um, I think 2600 works, but I don't think the 7800 does yet. There you go. And Super Nintendo. I just really like the, um, I really like the unified interface. It reminds me of Emulation Station. So I'd, I had never had an open Dingus device. I, I kind of came in at the um, Odroid Go um, back in, I don't know, it was maybe March of last year. Um, but, I, uh, but I've been playing with Emulation Station. That's kind of... It's kind of what I'm used to. And so the the standard, more traditional opening its interface just wasn't doing it for me. But this, I really enjoy. Um, I think it's looks very polished, allows me to really see all of my games really well. Um, it doesn't have support. Simple Menu doesn't have support for video or audio. So you, you can't do a whole lot of like look and feel with this other than just the box arts. But that's okay. 
Um, so that's consoles. Let's take a look at the handhelds. So Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Let's see if we can take a look at one of these. I mean, everything's running really well on beta. I'm, I'm really impressed with the performance. Um, everything up through PlayStation runs really well. We've even seen that they've got a um, N64 emulator out. I haven't played with it yet. But I assume there's probably some things that work for that as well. Uh, Game Gear. Your Geo Pocket Color. Take a look at one of these. Sounds really good, looks really good. Um, Atari Lynx, Wonder Swan, regular Game Boy. And then arcades. So these are tricky. Uh, I don't think I don't think the beta really deals um, with these as well as it possibly could. I um, Final Burn Alpha is still giving me problems here, but Mame is looking really good. There we go. So Mame. And I've got it set up with multiple emulators. So if you go into the select screen, you can choose uh, what you want to run. Um, let's try. Let's try. Uh, so if you hit right, you can page through. Let's get to. Let's get to a CPS2 game so I can show you that. So that didn't work. Let's. So I didn't have it set right. So I've got to choose the CPS2 core there, and now it should work. Just a couple of extra steps. I thought about splitting them out and having CPS2 in its own category, um, but I, I just don't play arcade enough to to really care to separate them out or worry about having to change it. Turn this down a little bit. I really love this 280V though. I um, I think it's perfect. It's nice and small, but it's got everything that I need as far as buttons go. It's got L2, R2. And then, um, you know, we play the MAME 2003. So if we, so that's set properly, let's see if this works. Yeah, there you go. Home consoles, 
or home computers rather. So this one's cool. So I've got something like 1500 uh, Pico 8 games here running on the Taco emulator. And this was one that was available pre-beta. Um, where did that Wolfenstein go? So here you go. Most of these work, Celeste works. Um, some folks say the sound isn't good. It, it, I mean, it's basic, right? But it seems fine to me. So there's, um, it's 1500 something games here, Celeste. Uh, so supposedly this is a pack I'm not too familiar with Pico 8. Oh, this is a hack. Alright, and CX Spectrum. Sounds kind of weird. All right, uh, MSX. So it's a good one here. Maybe old school Metal Gear. I'm not really sure how to how to even get this guy started. Huh. Uh, enter. I'll have to play with that later. Oh, here we go. What is this? Need to do some uh, key configs. Oh, it's actually working a little bit here. Yeah. Maybe you guys know what that says. I have no idea. Hey, there we go. Just needed to be a little patient with it. Uh oh. Get away. Yeah. So there's that. Um So it does have some, I mean, it will get locked up at times. Like this is a good example. So we're kind of hosed and in this situation, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments how best to recover from this. I assume I'd have to put in a mouse and keyboard maybe, but you can always hit the reset button. One thing that I've noticed about this is, um, Sometimes when you reset, when you use that button, it doesn't um, doesn't remount that card. So let's see if we got that card remounted. Yeah, so we're good. 
if you want to make sure that you're just launching straight into simple menu, you want to turn this default launcher on like that and you won't boot up into the uh, G menu 2X. So there's MSX, Commodore 64. I think this one works. Uh, let's do bubble bubble. Kind of cool. It sounds like a. Uh, if you can hear that, it sounds like a. Like a floppy drive reading, or maybe a. I think it's a floppy drive. Pretty cool little sound. I have some more work to do here. Yeah, if you want to get to the retro arch menu, you just hit power so you can see that it's actually loading. Um, what core is that? Uh, see if this will tell us. Yeah, so it's vice. Vice core. But I don't know what's up with the. I don't know what's up with this title. All right, so Commodore 64, uh, I think this guy works. I don't know. Uh, Atari ST, I haven't gotten Atari ST to work. I need to go and uh, read Russ's guides on how to get some of these going. Um, but for the most part, when we look at handhelds, these all work really well. that um, links Anyway, uh, oh, one more thing. So let's look at apps and games. So I went through and added art for all of these. Um, I didn't add them all. And I've got a problem with my, this works, but it, the resolution is off. I think it was built for 64, uh, 640 by 480. Um, instead of the lower resolution for the 280B. So I've got a little bit of work to, there to do to figure what out what's going on there. Um, these work or should. Yeah.
Big Sauce put that one together again, blah, blah. Thank you for that one. And, um, oh, and then the settings. So, like, if you need to enable mass storage mode, you can do that straight from here without having to go into back into the system. Uh, reboot works, clock works, power off. Um, this doesn't show a whole lot, it just flashes. And uh, favorites. So if you hit, if you hit L2, um, you gotta be in here. So L2, there's your favorites. Uh, I've had some problems with this. So I last night I sat down and added 200 games to this thing and then it somehow lost several of the systems, but um, I don't know what's up with that. I've got to go back and try to do it again and see if maybe, maybe I can either reproduce it or figure out a way around it. So that's it. Um, you know, none of this is really my original work other than just putting it all together. Um, but my hope is that Russ may revisit this and talk a little bit more about how um, the how you can install the individual cores and call those out a simple menu. I think it allows us to do a whole lot more with open beta or with the uh, OD beta than we've been able to do previously. And... I just really love the theme. I think the uh, the Cody theme is perfect for uh, for my needs. So, so hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I've been working on this for about a week now, so it's a lot of work to tie it all together. But now that it's done, I think it's a pretty cool uh, little package. And I had a lot of requests to show it off, so here you go. Hope you enjoyed. Um, as always. Uh, retrogamecourse.com go go see what Russ has to offer in his guides and in his videos um, that's primarily what I use to stitch all this together and I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend and we will talk to you soon <laughs>